Hello, today I'd like to show you how to steam up my new 009 live steam narrow gauge locomotive. First, some details about the technique. This locomotive uses a single cylinder steam engine that is mounted inside the cab. On the other side you can see the flywheel and the valve chest in the back. Below the locomotive you can see the gear that I used to get the locomotive running in model speed and the burner at the front of the locomotive together with the fuel tank. Let's start by taking off the fuel tank. Next I screw off the filler plug from the boiler. The boiler will be filled with demineralized water and takes 125 milliliters. The steam locomotive itself was made by Brian Caton, a model railroader from Great Britain. He made round about 40 of these little Welsh style saddle tank steam locomotives. Once the boiler is filled with water, the filler plug is screwed back in place. The next step is to fill the burner with fuel. This burner runs on mass spirit, which is filled into the little tank. The capacity of the tank is around about 60 milliliters. Now it's time to light up the burner. Once the flame is burning stubble, you can put the locomotive on top of the fuel tank. The fuel tank will slide between the outside frame of the locomotive. With the fuel tank in place, you can put the locomotive to the tracks. Looking through the cap will show the blue flame burning below the boiler. Now it's time to wait for around about 2 minutes to raise steam. To prevent the video from getting boring at this point, I just cut out 2 minutes. Meanwhile, I placed some flat cars on the tracks and I tried from time to time if the steam pressure is enough to start the locomotive. To start the locomotive, push her down through the tracks and also to the direction in which the locomotive should start. The best thing is to run the locomotive for one or two laps without any load. I didn't have a passing loop on my temporary track, so I coupled the locomotive directly to the train. And there she goes. It was also not the best idea to take the first team up on this evening to take this video. In most cases, the second steam up will be the best performing of the locomotive, as well as each following steam ups. On the first steam up, the locomotive is very cold and it needs some time uh, until everything is working fine.
Therefore it could happen that the engine and train will stop. Just give her a new push start and the train will continue. Let's use this stop for some switching. With one boiler fill of water, the locomotive will run for around about 8 to 10 minutes. Now it's time to get this locomotive running on my modular HON30 logging railroad layout. But this will be shown in one of my next videos. <laughs> 